Hello, I'm ELH, and today I'm bringing you the first of 10 quick overviews of each playbook currently available for the Avatar Legends tabletop role-playing system by Magpie Games. We're starting with The Adamant, a zealous advocate with a heart of gold and a diamond-hard will, ready to do what it takes to fix the world. The Adamant playbook is perfect for those wishing to play a character that is so committed to a cause that they may break all the rules to achieve their end. There's a fine line between heroism and villainy for the adamant, and while they may be dismissive of others sometimes, they will always have at least one person that they listen to who can rein them in. The adamant begins play with a creativity of zero, a focus of plus one, a harmony of minus one, and a passion of plus one. The adamant's principles are restraint and results. Restraint is how much an adamant wishes to hold back, to think, comprehend, and plan instead of bull rushing ahead. An adamant with high restraint still is pursuing their cause, but is not doing so at any cost. They are more willing to compromise and redirect if it means avoiding undesired consequences. Conversely, Results is how much an adamant wishes to achieve results for the better and have it stick. An adamant with high results believes the ends justifies the means to a fault. Sacrifices, tough choices, anything to achieve the goals that they are pursuing. The adamant's moment of balance requires finding an equilibrium in seeing people as people, not as pawns while also understanding that those people can still help towards the adamant's goals. They're able to treat other dangerous people empathetically and humanely, and still achieve results. The adamant's feature is the Lodestar. The Lodestar is the one person that the adamant lets pass their emotional walls. This initially is another player character. An adamant can change lodestars whenever they open up to someone new during a guide and comfort task, as well as the reverse. Changing their lodestar allows the adamant to clear a condition. The lodestar is able to shift the adamant's balance and call them out without resistance. This means the lodestar is considered to have automatically rolled a plus 10 with all that it entails. But it's not just about reining the adamant in. If the adamant consults with the lodestar for advice on a problem or permission to use a certain solution, then the adamant rolls with restraint. On a 10 plus, the adamant gets all of the following, while on a seven to nine, they choose two. First, the adamant could see the wisdom of the lodestar's advice. The lodestar would shift the adamant's balance, the adamant would follow the lodestar's advice, and then the lodestar would shift the adamant's balance once more. Another option is that the adamant can clear a condition or two fatigue as the conversation bolsters them. Finally, the adamant clears a condition or two fatigue as they feel at ease for offering their opinion. Now, if the result of this roll is a miss, then the adamant is infuriated by the lodestar's advice. The adamant must mark a condition or allow the GM to shift their balance twice. The final bit of the adamant's class feature is shutting down someone vulnerable to harsh words or icy silence. The adamant shifts their balance towards results, and then rolls with results. On a 7 to 9, the target marks a condition, while the adamant clears the same condition. On a 10 plus, the target cannot shift the adamant's balance or call them out for the rest of the scene. If the roll is a miss, then the adamant must mark a condition and allow the target to shift the adamant's balance. This cannot be used on the Lodestar. The Adamant has access to the following moves. This was a victory, requires the Adamant to mark a fatigue and roll with passion when they reveal that they have sabotaged a building, device, or vehicle right as it becomes relevant. On a 10 plus, their work pays off and creates an opportunity for the Adamant and their allies at just the right time. On a seven to nine, the opportunity is temporary and requires fast action to stay ahead of consequences. On a miss, then something or someone the adamant cares about is hurt as collateral damage. Next, takes one to no one requires the adamant to verbally poke at someone in order to find a weakness. You roll with focus. On a 10 plus, the adamant can ask one question from the following list. On a seven to nine, the target can ask one question of the adamant as well. The list is, what is your principle? 
What do you need to prove? What could shake your certainty? Whom do you care about more than you let on? If someone lies or stonewalls, then they must mark to fatigue. If this roll is a miss, the target can ask a question from the list to the adamant, who must answer honestly. No time for feelings is a two-parter. The first part allows the adamant to mark a fatigue to push down their feelings and ignore condition penalties until the end of the scene. This requires having the same or less number of conditions as their highest principle, which is restraint in results. The second part allows the adamant to mark a condition to roll with the number of conditions they have marked, up to a maximum of plus four, when resisting an NPC shifting their balance. The adamant cannot choose to clear a condition to immediately prove the NPC wrong. Fourth, I don't hate you allows the adamant to roll with passion instead of harmony when they guide or comfort someone in an awkward, underwhelming, or otherwise peculiar manner. This requires the adamant to mark insecure if it is not already marked. Finally, driven by justice allows the adamant to add plus one to passion up to a maximum limit of plus three. The adamant's advanced technique is pinpoint aim. This defend and maneuver technique gives the adamant time to line up a perfect shot. They gain the prepared condition, see page 153, and if they advance an attack in the next exchange, they can roll with focus or passion. The adamant also does not have to mark fatigue to choose what they inflict if they use the strike technique. Finally, we have the adamant's growth question. Did you seek support or guidance from others? This gives the adamant incentive to see other people as sources of wisdom and to temper their drive with outside ideas. And that's the adamant in a nutshell. If you like this quick overview of the playbook, drop a like and a comment below. You'll also want to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when the next playbook video releases. Thanks for watching! And if you want to see Avatar Legends in actions, you probably want to check out my Rise of the Dark Avatar game linked below.